Hello, and welcome back to another spooky game. You may be asking yourself, Trueborn, No Man's Sky is not a spooky game. To which I reply, mind your business. This is my channel and I do what I want here. However, you're also wrong. Because now there's a current expedition going on in No Man's Sky called The Cursed. I already started playing it and have completed the first milestone. However, I didn't record myself playing through the first milestone which I've completed. Only because I wasn't planning on recording this. The last expedition that we did for No Man's Sky I was unable to finish, and that was mainly in part to recording conflicts and not putting enough time into the game itself because I have a large selection of games that I play. However, with this one, there's a starship that I would really want to get, and when I started playing this, there was only two weeks left. If I were to record and put out like I normally do, chances are by the time I finish this, the expedition will be over. So I don't think I could record everything like I've been recording and getting it out in time before the expedition ends. Also with other videos recording, I can't make time to be able to record this. So we're going to get one Saturday of it in October. And then hopefully I'll be able to put in enough time to get that really cool starship at the end. I may not even finish this one as well. But I'm going to be putting forth a little bit of effort to be able to do that. On top of recording videos for YouTube and editing them in order to get them out. I also play Rock Band Rivals, or Rock Band 4, for the PlayStation 4. And currently the new season just started up, so I also put time into that as well. And then sometimes I like to play other games like Minecraft and TCG... a store? simulator and just essentially it's just kind of how I feel when it comes to playing games which is I think usually how people go about things when they pick the games they want to play is what you feel like playing so to give you a rundown once everything loads in here of what this expedition is about. Those little ghost things you see there on the right are haunting us. They float around us and that little purple bar in the bottom left is the gauge. Once that gauge gets to about halfway, then they start attacking us. This is essentially replaced the storms so anytime that you're on a planet that's hot or cold biohazard radiation things like that the purple gauge has just replaced that and in order to get past it you have to drink these elixir of glass what has happened is that there's two universes and there's a thin veil that seems to be breaking down and these ghosts are coming through watching us making us cursed so with this we can bring the purple bar up but then there's also other elixirs as well such as the elixir of blood which we present at portals like the one in front of me or you can consume it to commune with those beyond the boundaries of reality. In order to make this stuff, I have to slay living creatures 
and sentinels in order to get their ingredients on top of gold. And then to make the elixir of glass, I need to use dehydrin and shattered quali, which you get from actually destroying the ghosts. Now this was what I was waiting for because I have to go walk around in this. It's going to cause my thing to drop a lot quicker. It looks like somebody's fighting a bug up there. And we keep getting these messages as well. Survive with low boundary integrity. So boundary integrity is the purple bar. You can see here these. The storm causes it to drop a lot quicker. Everybody's messages that they have all over the place. Let's see, I should look for some dehydrant. Because I know I'm going to need to make some more of this glass elixir. This filter around my screen, it's a little harder to see. It just fell right into that hole. Wouldn't have killed me, but it would have hurt. When we start getting low boundary too, it gets to a point where night and day just go past in the sky and now our boundary strength is failing which means that they're going to attack us I've been attempting to speed run through this and just doing what the milestones tell me to do I've never let the bar drop all the way down to zero I don't know what will happen when I do that. Maybe we just get attacked by more things. Everything is wavy, time is distorted. Almost there, have to survive 180 seconds. There we go. The edge of glass. Now, aside from using the elixir, another good way to get rid or to get your bar back up is just to shoot back into outer space. That winds up clearing it up. It seems to only really affect us the most when we are on planet. So let's get back in our ship. Let's go into space. And now our bar is full. I also have to find ancient bones. sure which planets here have those. Urtsoft does. Urtsoft does. Urtsoft and Urtson. Now Urtson has high sentinel activity so probably won't go there. But it also has activated copper and I might be able to find uh, storm gems here, which is something else that we have to collect. So let's see if we can locate 
Crit Sun. There it is. Crit Sun. No idea how low to the ground I am. Maybe this will help things out if I actually hit the ground. for that one. surface Oof. that I could land my ship on so I can empty my inventory really difficult to find a place something there for a moment. So let's get back down there. Extreme temperature detected.
find Why do you always want to take me to the furthest one? I'm really hoping that a storm would start so I can get these crystals as well. There we go. Let's go up to those things that are stone crystals. There we go. We've walked. A lot of places. Let me get a storm crystal. Come on, give me a storm crystal. There we go. Oh wow, yeah, the extreme storm just definitely devours this. We're just gonna be rocking at a zero. Moving around. Sliding down this way. Slanted. Go. Oh, don't clear just yet. down there and get another one, but my inventory got full again. There's one. Perfect. Now we have to tunnel underground. still come through and get me underground? It doesn't look like it. I don't want to leave. It's funny because we get silica powder for doing this. And that's what's used to charge. There we go. Fear the sun. And once I get back to my ship, I'll claim those two rewards. Use a portal to travel to the rendezvous. Present that at the portal in order to use it. And then with this one, we consume the elixir to reveal the location of nearby portals. I have to go get silver, which is out in space, and then pure furite, which I can just, uh. Another thing that we have to make is a blood potion. 
And I need more Pungium. Which means I gotta go pick a fight with a Sentinel. Serve Quicksilver. Assuming that's going to reveal the location of nearby portals. So let's do that. recipe inventory slot times three we had the elixir blood recipe this is a different one battery battery plans and solar panel plans and inventory slot times three because I probably have to make this one to commune with the portal. It's a loud sound. Oh, this was breached too. Now we get to read everybody's messages.
as it starts all over again. Reality 3, here we go. These are all gonna be people's messages. Good luck. Some of them are nice. Among the cosmos. But I got one that just said, yeah. Bulwark was here. Let's go. I see you. There's no ultimate truth, only wisdom. Alright, if we're in here, our fear doesn't go down. They call it fear. You know, it's called something else. Oh, we got this so we can get anomaly seal plans and multi tool inventory slot times three. Two has been completed and we get ink stained trail customization now we just have phase three we've already completed the first of walking 8,000 U which I'm assuming is units and now we have to eliminate eight hungering tendrils. Which I don't know where those are at. However, this is where we come to the end of the video. I only wanted to show completing phase two. I'm not going to show you completing phase three, four, five in the final phase, unfortunately. There's only so much time in the day and only so much that I can do sadly I just don't have enough time for everything so I'm going to continue recording the videos that I've already set out to record and will play this passively in hopes that I will get to the final phase and get the last starship at the end there's a lot of cool unlocks that you can get by playing this expedition on no man's sky if you follow the creator of no man's sky sean can't think i think it starts with a w on x or instagram he is constantly sharing photos and giving like little spoiler hints for each expedition that comes out, for each update that comes out, he shares photos that people who have played No Man's Sky have shared, or even ones that he has taken himself. Really nice photos of everything. But you can see pictures of what the starship looks like. Uh, you can get a Cthulhu type head for your character. And, uh,. We got that ink trail, which I think is actually for your booster. So your, your jet pack. 
So when you're jumping around with your jetpack, you'll have like a little ink splotch that comes out, but your character is like slowly evolving into a little Cthulhu squid alien, which is great. I hope to do that. But that is going to do it for me. Thank you all for watching. And I'll see you in the next spooky game. Goodbye.